my first meal living alone. Sorry, it's the fan is loud. It doesn't does it even work? I don't know. <laughs> um, but I'm making some fettuccine. Um, yeah, this feels kind of unreal. I can't even can't even believe I'm saying I'm alone. <laughs> like I got a little emotional. I'm gonna have to relearn how to live alone. So cheers to that. I am starving. Oh my god, but yeah, what I meant by learning relearning how to live alone, it like feels like I'm back in the apartment. It's so funny. Like even this wall here and the lighting, the horrible lighting, looks like I'm in the apartment in the the kitchen area. But We'll see what's going to happen with these daily vlogs. I have a friend coming over tomorrow. And um, I pretty much was just cleaning today. And I kind of want to show you, like, well, in a bit, because I'm cooking now. But maybe after I eat. How the rooms look now, and I guess what I have to do... Um, they may just end up being like blank filming spaces for when I set up like different backgrounds and such for now because I really am just not sure what to do with it. I think someone's playing really loud music outside. But I'm going to go eat and then I'll show you. And... Uh, family just officially left so I'm officially alone <laughs> it feels so strange I was just literally walking around the house like observing everything like wow just wow <laughs> I don't know what to say um, at least my family is gonna be close now so that's a positive that's great you know they're not gonna be far so you know they're always welcome here, obviously. I just went to their new place yesterday and it's so like modern, nice, clean. Kind of cold for my taste because this house like more looks like traditional style, you know, it's warmer, but it's still nice and spacious and just brand new, you know, good for them. I wish them well. Um, And yeah, I'm just going to start like doing a daily, let me mix the pasta. I'm going to start doing a daily ritual, kind of like to keep my mental health in check. Because you guys remember how my mental health was living by myself. And it's scary, like, it's scary, you know. It's very rare that people can like, even afford to live by themselves. Not to mention live by themselves, like, without being in a relationship, like, Usually people who live in by themselves at the very least go dating a lot or are in a relationship, not just completely by themselves, you know what I'm saying? So, you know, to be in that position now, it's like, it's very odd, very, very odd. So, oh my God, I was listening to motivational speaking and I, I do like almost every day I listen to like something motivational this is from the icing conference from Terry Savelle and Jerry Savelle Foy her, her, the father and daughter duo the 10 year anniversary this was their Dallas conference and I was listening to it um, and it's great I mean I donate to the ministry you know and uh, quite often you know I think like monthly now and I just love it. I love their inspirational message. I love everything, what they stand for. You know. And it, 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 I think I'm going to build a routine of that. Meditation and inspirational message. Word of God every single day. That will keep my mental health in check. And I have you guys in the comments to keep me in check too. Like, Tony, you may be off about something. Because I, I didn't notice it. Like, you don't notice when you're in a depressive state until someone checks you, right? So that's why I'm keeping friends close in my life, closer now more than ever. I swear on that. 
because you know especially nowadays it's, it's scary out there um but look at this it's not new but i had to pull it out because it's like very cold lately it's such a cute one and then i wore this it's like a golfer's kind of jacket i love it i don't know so god their music is loud <laughs> first day and someone's already playing music right <laughs> but you know how you oh no my sauce i totally sauce <laughs> i totally forgot about look at it it's boiling at least it's not spraying everywhere like this kind of sauce tends to spray everywhere but since it's already done i'm just gonna pull it aside and i'm so thankful to have more space now to cook Oh, this is fun. I think I'm going to like hanging out with you guys more now. <laughs> I might start doing this every day because I have more space and room to cook out of. I have a nicer oven now. God, you guys remember that oven I had? It was like from the 70s in the apartment. But I was being cheap on purpose. I was like cooking like ramen noodles, um, like literally scra scraping like to save for this house, you know, and in a sense, I'm kind of glad it maybe worked itself out and like, I don't have to move because it's like, it's just not worth it to move. It's like, this will literally cost me the same as a apartment that's downgraded, you know, like rentals are more than your mortgage. Trust me on that. So like, I'm just not moving because it's not worth it. It's literally going to end up the same price. I have all of this for literally the same price. And where I was, like, uh, I can finally open up about that because it's been so long. Like, I never felt comfortable sharing, like, how much my rent was, you know. Like, but this was, like, at this point, so many years ago, it's like, you can talk about it. And I'm always looking at the garage door. I'm, I'm still, like, thinking in the back of my head, like, someone's going to come through those doors, but no one is. <laughs> one day, one day my man will. No, I'm joking. But, um... Yeah, I paid like, okay, at first I paid like 800 for that one bedroom apartment. It was 700 square feet, but that's with closets. Like without the closets, it was like 500. It was so small. It was like two bedrooms, the size of two decent bedrooms. You know what I mean? And I used to think that was big, but anyway. How much does fettuccine cook? Do you guys know? Oh my God, this is linguine. 10 to 11 minutes, great. Okay, thought I overcooked it. Well, let's see. Um, It's thick, but it needs more work. I think I started it off pretty slow. Uh, I'm no Gordon Ramsay, okay? Don't yell at me in the comments like I'm doing this wrong, okay? It's just my first day, T take it easy on me. But, yeah, I paid 800 and oh my God. Scam likely call. I hate when that happens. It shuts my recording automatically. Um, and it freaks me out every time because I always think like it's going to delete my video and I have to start all over. They paid 800. They're like, oh no, honey, you're just going to pay an extra $20 a year. That's every rental. And I'm like, even back then I was like, yikes. That means in 10 years, my rent's going to go up $200. Guess what happened? Eight fifty. They they raised it by fifty dollars. I think they knew. Like, well, okay, I'm not bougie in any way, but they probably thought I was bougie or something, right? Um. And then, guess what? It was the next year, nine hundred thirty dollars. They raised it another seventy on top of that, and I was like. I gotta get out of here. I was like, this is ridiculous. Like, hundred and they raised it like sixfold what they promised. So I was like, I gotta get up and out of here. It's like, right now it's probably a thousand by now. I guarantee it. Like, over a thousand for new renters. And I'm like, I'm not a new renter. Like, I would understand to raise it that much, but I'm not a new renter. And then I'm like, can I have the, you know, the, I had the dog then at the time. They're like, oh, okay, 970. I was like, bye, girl, bye. So that's what I mean by the same price. Like, 
for their three beds or two beds, it, it was like twelve fifty, fourteen hundred. Um, living here, like with my family, I only paid a certain amount, right? Which was basically equivalent to like, let's say a two bed there, right? So like for all this space, I was like, obviously it's gonna cost me a bit more now cause I'm alone. But overall, like if I got like a three bed apartment that was decent, it would have literally ended up costing the same as this four bed, three bath. Um, space, you know? It's like 3,000 square feet with the garage and the patio, the back patio. I have 10,000 square feet of land, so, you know. You tell me what's worth it more, a tiny apartment or this. So that's why I'm not moving, so that it kind of explained my story. Like, it's just not worth it financially. It's just like, you're building equity, you know. It's like, you're not building anything with an apartment. The only good thing I kind of miss, actually, if I'm honest with you, because it can get expensive long-term living in a house and having a mortgage and having to pay the interest and everything um, is the repairs. Like, I lost count how many things I had to replace or repair in this house and how costly it can be unexpectedly and it kind of just drives you nuts. You can't, you're like, oh, I just saved this much and then now it's like, Nope, never mind, I have to repair. Um, so at least one thing I kind of missed was like having people ma maintenance, um, although they were kind of busy and slow at times, but they were, they were good. I never had complaints with them. They were nice people. They were actually awesome. But that's what I missed, like free repair. You know, like they can change the toilet. One time I locked myself out of my bathroom, like totally, completely, it was so embarrassing. And I literally had to like break in and they, they changed the, the, the doorknob, you know, they, they do whatever. Wow. I was like screaming because of the fan. Um, all right guys. So I'm going to go prepare my dinner now. The noodles are done. Sometimes like pasta without meat really makes me hungry after like two hours. Does that ever happen to you guys? It happens to me. I'm wondering now why my microwave is like dripping wet. Maybe because I... <laughs> I'm gonna go, guys.